Hello and welcome to Let's Play Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis with me, Mr. McClackable. Last episode we got started with the story and we learned that a secret agent of the Third Reich, Klaus Kerner, is after Indy and his lovely female assistant from the past, Sophia Hapgood. So we're here, as she may be the next target, at one of her shows to save her. Unfortunately, at the moment, um, she's in the middle of a show, so we can't really interrupt her. And this guy's really getting on my nerves, look. Wait! She's still talking! I know that, but she may die from a stupid Nazi! Fine, right, let's talk to him. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? Um, yeah, you look a bit tired, old man. You look tired. Wouldn't you like to call it a day? Nah, sooner or later I get to run the ghost out there. That's always a big moment. Yeah, you phony. You big fat phony. Uh, come on, you gotta have something to say. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? You're very rude, man. There must be something you'd rather be doing. This is your job. No one likes their job. Isn't there something you'd rather be doing? Like what? Show business is my whole life! There's no business like show. Do you read? Don't you ever read? Sure, it's a hobby of mine. Oh, good. Uh, I have something for you to read, then. But what if I give you something to read? I might take a look. Okay. See, this is where we picked up that newspaper. Um, let's see, right. Give the newspaper to the stagehand. Here. Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? You, sir, are not very good at your job. You... This is basically a stranger, and you'd rather go see if the Dodgers won. Oh, tut tut. Okay, so we're here. We now have control of this thing. Lots of levers. Uh, now... Hmm... Let's push them. Oh! Lights went on. Just push all of them. Oh. Lights went off. <gasps> Lights went on again. Uh, this is the only part of the game that I know how to do, because I spent ages doing this. Because look! That right there, th that is a button! You can press that. That tiny little red pixel. So, the technique is we've got to pull that middle one in. Like so. It should go super fast with some funky music and then press uh, or push the button there it goes and I still feel the presence of Atlantis through uh... may I present Nurab Sal the great Atlantean god of of deceit deceit thanks Indy Indiana Jones you've got some nerve Go back, you big jack-o'-lantern! Oh, great. Good night, folks. Aha! Uh -huh, there you are. That got your attention. Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. I'd say it's about time. Oakley doakley, let's go. Oh, no! Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. Oh, this is dangerous. Nazis are lingering. No one here. Okay, that's not a very thorough search there, is it? <laughs> Nor here either. See, he was right there. Indy. Indiana Jones. Dr. Uberman. Fantastic news. We found the treasure we see. And off he goes into the distance. That's the second time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Chief Scientist Dr. Hans Uberman announces plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? <laughs> Why did she say Third Reich like that? Just, did she have a bit of phlegm in her throat? Anyway, it might just be the dodgy sound. So they want to crack the atom or something. Well, tough, because they are years away. Practical results are years away. Of course they are. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. 
Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. She's trying, she's trying to blab on about that Atlantis crap. Look, I know, you get money from saying about it, but come on. I think she's becoming deluded. Uh, hmm. Has she been stealing things? Yet you've been concealing important artifacts. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Hmm. Well, that's just not fair. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. Damn, damn straight. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. What do you know? Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch oh, hello. closely. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Oh. Did you see that? Yeah, creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? That was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. Hmm. Well, yeah, I, mumbo jumbo stuff I don't really care about. That must have just been some illusion with the lights, I'm sure. I'm not interested in spiritual mumbo jumbo. Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence, which I don't. Okay. Um. Yeah. Do. You, do you know where it is? Where Atlantis? Do they know where it is? What's going on? What the hell is this? We have no idea where to find your mythical lost city. Shh. I'm getting something. Nurab Sal speaks. Oh God. He bids us find the. What? A, a book. Yes. The lost dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. That book is a legendary hoax. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. That would be bad. That would be very bad. Uh. Hmm. Iceland. How did the Nazis get interested in Iceland? Antiquities dealers probably told them about me. Nice friends you have. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask. Well, off to Iceland it is then, it seems. There we go. Just like in the films. Isn't that nice? Oh, here we go. Right. Oh, we've finally got our whip now. So we can whip some people. Um, This part of the game I haven't played on from now, so this is all going to be new to me as well. So we're here in Iceland because, well... The Nazis are as well, aren't they? What have we got here then? We've got the truck. What's in that encampment? Let's go have a look in here, shall we? Cool. Come on, you can go a bit faster than that, Indy. Yeah, can we go in? It doesn't seem to open. Mm. Look at, maybe? It looks like someone's still living here. Oh. Use. I don't think that'll work. Okay, fine. It obviously wants us to go here. Let's go to the old dig site then. Anything around here? Oh, we can't even see anyway. This looks a bit spooky. Oh, who's that? <gasps> it's Bjorn Heimdall. Hello, Bjorn. Hello. Dr. Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my dig site now. Go away. Oh, um, alright, that text was a bit too fast there. That's, uh, wrong one. Let's make it a little bit slower. There we go. Um, that is a very creepy voice he has there. I thought you would, uh, let's see. Yeah, not very friendly, are you? Not feeling very friendly today, are we? I like solitude. It helps me think. <laughs> His voice, I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, what do you, yeah. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks called Iceland, you know. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land, and how they never set foot upon it. Ha! 
After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they were repelled by ghosts. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped them, Sean? No, I, I don't. Maybe Sophia does. I don't know, but maybe Sophia has an idea. Forget it. I'll just oh, tell okay, you. Oh, okay, then fine. He was stopped by a force field put here by beings not of this earth. Hmm, that's fascinating, Doctor. Yeah, this is all a bit weird, isn't it? I keep doing the wrong one, it's that one. Uh, yeah, we need to know about this book, which the Nazis might have. Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumours about such a book, but I've yet to see it. Damn. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady fellow, who claims he translated the whole thing. And Philippe Costa in the Azores Islands. As a researcher, he's a farce, but he's a sharp tracer. Yeah, I think you can tell this game came out about 19 years ago. <laughs> that sound is really bad. Hmm. So you completely discount the supernatural? Completely. If it's supernatural, you won't. Dr. Sternhardt and Costa. But what about that force field? Surely that's supernatural, no? I, what, what are you doing here, anyway? What is this thing you're working on? The bronze eel here? Oh, it's a, probably a homing beacon for wayward spaceships. Soon I'll have it out of the ice. Oh, I suppose, yeah, supernatural and aliens are a bit different. What was that about the lost dialogue? Dr. Sternhardt and Costa. Um, do we really want to talk to you anymore? You're getting on my nerves. Go away. So long. Goodbye. Don't come back. Screw you. Let's have a look at that, that thing in the wall. It's an eel figurine trapped in ice. Oh, okay. Uh, anything else? What does she have to say? Sophia. What's on your mind? Uh, <laughs> frostbite of the brain. I think the good doctor's got frostbite of the brain. I'll say, spacemen, my eye. My eye? Doesn't make any sense. Let's leave this guy. Costa and someone else we've got to go speak to. I actually forgot their names already. Nothing here. Anything? Let's go to the truck. Can we get in the truck? We must have something to do with this encampment. Let's have a look. Open. Let's go in. It doesn't seem to open. Damn. Close? It doesn't seem to close. It does not, does it? The whip. That's my whip. It is. Let's use the whip. With Sophia? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that'll work. <laughs> Maybe we've got to go talk to him some more. Maybe we have to talk to him, because he's getting on my nerves. He's a very annoying man. Oh. I'm lost already. Uh, Maybe we can... This was taken a long while ago, when I thought we might like each other. Oh, look. There she is. That's Sophia. And there's Indy. Okay. Look, Bjorn, we need to know where these people are. So we can actually go see them. Dr. Heimdall. You again. Must you buy your me? Buy your me? Yes. Uh. Well, why did these beings show up here? I am convinced that these travelers came to Earth to form colonies like Atlantis, using Hyperborea as a spaceport. Oh, wow. Up north here, we're close to the ether. It's a perfect landing site. Uh, so there's a link, is there? So what's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? Right, the Yastro expedition, the one you're about to work on. Recently I saw pieces from it, pieces that are clearly Atlantean. I see. Somebody must have been selling them. Oh dear. Go ahead, blame it all on me. I will. Uh Okay, well where did they come from? Where did you say those pieces come from? 
Is this artifact of Atlantis you want? Dr. Sternhart and Cosmo. Sternhart, that was his name. And where, but where are they? Ah. Uh. So long. Okay. Good luck, fellow believer. Oh, you're a bit nicer now, aren't you? Yeah. Can we, That's my whip. Yeah, can we whip him? Damn. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> He's a bit annoying, that bloke. Okay. What about if we... We must be able... Let's just use... Let's just use the, uh, the truck. Maybe we can get it and then go somewhere. Let's head for the airport. Yes, let's. Oh, we can pick, I think. Let's go to the Azords. This is a very nice looking place, isn't it? Like a holiday resort. Almost. Oh. Oh, there they are. This is his house? This is it. Well, that is a very fancy house you have there. Uh, anything we can pick up? Don't want to go back here. Let's go in. Mr. Costa? Keep your shirt on. Be careful, Indy. Humor him. Trust me. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. Everyone's so rude in this game. No, we need to know about the, uh, the lost dialogue. I hear you know something about Plato's lost dialogue. Maybe so, maybe no. Who are you? I'm Indiana Jones. I'm Costa, and I'm tired of talking to you. Oh. Indiana? What kind of stupid name is that? Nice going, Indy. I could have done better. <sighs> yeah, sure. Why don't you... Okay, well... I guess... That failed. Next episode, we'll try again maybe. We're going to speak to the sound Costa because we want to know about this lost dialogue. So until then, thank you for watching, and goodbye.